today I stand before you in the attempts to put my words around the adoration and respects of Dr. James Jackson, a man who brought us together on this day past all barriers that all mankind has created for us. Um, because the barriers we face in this community, they're man-made, they're not. And so because of that, we can come past that, and Dr. Jackson knew that. Selfless, encourager, educator, mentor, healer, not just of body, but of mind and of spirit. Integrity, full of it. He had a standard for excellence that you could see in everything that he did. The way he carried himself just deemed respect. And that's the aspects of what I consider a true African elder in our community. He was a friend to many, and a man who lived up to the rights to the attributes of a trailblazer. He made things happen. Because he encouraged Mayor Kamish to run for public office, and she did, and she ran, then she went on to be a, a mayor, I could come behind that. We all leave little pellets, little drops of, from our trailblazing journey to make a path for the next person, and that's what Dr. Jackson did, and as a result, I stand before you as the mayor. As I realized and I brought closure to myself, as I reflected on June 28th, um, I got the call of Dr. Jackson's passing um, on the 26th, and I, I will admit to you, it stunned me for a little bit. And I sat on my couch and I just, I, it, it, you kind of feel like, I know for me, they're always going to be here. Your elders are always going to be there to support you. Your elders are always going to be there to have your back. But you know what? He showed me that your elders are there to give you the tools that you need so when they're not there, you can be that elder. So as I began to reflect, and I, I, I pulled on my ancestors for understanding because I was a little shaken, it dawned on me that Dr. Jackson left a true legacy he brought together an exact, I mean, word and deed. He lived it, he walked it out, he did it. And he, has anyone, has it dawned on anyone that the African American Museum is on Center Street? <laughs> on Center Street, in the center of a community where the people need to know and love themselves. He took a building that was full of information before, newspapers, magazines, books, and he filled it with information necessary for a community to be able to build and heal across racial boundaries. He said, this is it. That's his legacy. And because of that, I'm convinced that the museum is going to be just fine. Dr. Jackson wouldn't have it any other way. Those of us who now understand our roles and our place in this community and that now we need to become a little more committed to take on the responsibilities of elders as Dr. Jackson did, we won't let it happen any other way. So on behalf of the citizens and the people of the city of Muskegon Heights, thank you, Dr. Jackson, and happy birthday. Pleasure. Not just for Muskegon Heights, but for Muskegon County as a whole. God bless you all. Thank you.